Hi, big Tractor Power fans. I'm out on a western Kentucky field that has just had the corn harvested, and now a fleet of tractors is coming across it with wishing discs, disking up the ground, burying the corn stalks, and preparing the field to seed winter wheat. This farm is disking up over 1,000 acres of corn stalks per day with a fleet of eight four-wheel drive tractors and wishing discs. These big 30-inch blade discs work up the ground almost like a plow, burying the residue and breaking up the soil. There are three 620 horsepower John Deere 9620R tractors, a 9620RX four-track tractor, a Challenger MT875E two-track tractor rated at 600 horsepower, and three 420 horsepower John Deere 9420R four-wheel drive tractors. The farm will seed over 11,000 acres of winter wheat, and the month of October tends to be rainy and wet in western Kentucky, and it's important to work up all of the ground so it can be harrowed and seeded before cold weather sets in in the month of November, and that way the winter wheat can sprout and start growing so it can be harvested next June, and then a second crop of soybeans will follow in right after the wheat harvest. We're going to spend some time looking at each of the big tractors working out here in the field, disking up the ground. We'll take a close-up look at those 30-inch blades on the Wishick, cutting through the residue and mixing up the soil and fertilizer that's been spread as well as spending some time in the cab of the Challenger MT875E track tractor, talking with a farmer about what it's like to run all this equipment and why it's needed to move at such a fast pace. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this big fleet of tractors at work. We just saw the five 600 plus horsepower tractors pulling the 34 foot Wishig discs and now we can see the three 420 horsepower tractors pulling the 26 foot Wishig discs. These discs are digging down deep in the ground almost five inches turning it with 30 inch blades and it takes a lot of horsepower to move these discs through the field to bury all of this residue. Now that you've seen the fleet of eight tractors working the ground, let's take a close-up look at this wishing disc and those big 30-inch blades and how they chop up the residue and turn over the soil.
All of this machinery, including the big tractors and discs, are impressive to watch working up the ground, and we've seen how the discs are able to size the residue and bury it. Now let's climb up in the cab of the 600 horsepower Challenger MT875E track tractor and visit with a farmer and talk a little bit about the overall operation of this tillage process during the fall. I'm up in the cab of the Challenger MT875E and we're running across the field disking up the corn stalks, getting the ground ready for the new winter wheat crop that will come in 2020. You can look behind us and see that big wishing disc really bearing the corn stalks. Billy, you've been running wishing discs almost 20 years now. What do you like about them? How many do you have out here running all together on your tillage team? Yeah, there's eight of them. Uh, what I love about them is that we're, we have a lot of limestone rock and sandstone, and I think this has got the best tripping mechanism on the market. Uh, you watch it trip right there if you run over a ridge or something, and not exactly trip, it'll spring back. Uh, that and right now, if you look uh, uh, a normal nine space disc uh, with 22 inch or 24 inch blades, it's not doing much. Our ground is so hard. We haven't had any water in almost two months, I believe. The ground was so hard, these were the only discs really penetrating much. How, how, what size blade do you put on? How deep are they going? It's a 30 inch blade, but if it's new, now some of my discs are wore down to as much as 20. Uh, seven inches, but uh, it, it, it'll wear down about that much in four to five years of us running. But uh, I'll change those blades out next year after we finish this season. And what size discs are, are you running? Oh, width wise. Yep. I'm sorry. No, I, I was asking five, about that too. Five, uh, five of them are 34, what they call a 34 foot disc. And three of them are 26 foot deals. So they definitely give a workout to the 620 horsepower and the 420 horsepower tractors. They do. It's, uh, I mean, this is all I really could run. A, if you're going up a hill, that's all it'll pull it. Downhill, I could probably get. Let's see here. I'll get another gear. I don't know. I can pull it much faster. It's 
got a really smooth ride too when you widen out the tracks. Very smooth track, Brad. It probably, you know, in a turn, it, it sacrifices a little bit on a turn. I can load that motor up pretty good when I turn this disc, but uh, doing an EV line, it does a great job. That's probably the advantage of a uh, articulating tractor with tracks. It, it's probably better in a turn. I like to run the interrogator out in 
they were uh, having difficulty getting the fertilizer in today, so they got behind. Looks like he's almost caught up here. Yeah, but I think he's going to have to go fill up. <laughs> but he doesn't have to go very far. I hope, I hope he's got another load on his uh, semi trip. They carry a lot of tons and they put a lot of tons out to an acre. Yeah, we did, part of this was in tobacco, and so that takes a lot of damp to get by some pretty heavy dumps of damp. I don't know what the advantage is, but it's pretty high. Tobacco, when you take all those leaves, uh, you take the whole plant off the field, it, it, it takes a lot of fertility. This guy right here, but he'll be in front of us this time. Of night. I don't know, it probably doesn't hurt for him to be behind us. I just nicer to work it in, yeah. I mean, of course, we're gonna hair it, so it'll hair him. I don't know how much he's sinking in the ground as far as me seeding behind it. It might affect my seeding a little bit. It wasn't too bad, it was slow. Was pretty it good. pretty good? There you go. Well, it'd be all right. I think the Harrows will. Billy mentioned the Harrows up in the cab of the Challenger tractor. The farm utilizes a fleet of 210 engine horsepower John Deere 7210R tractors pulling 50 foot wide McFarlane Harrows. These harrows just smooth out the surface of the field. They worked out the clumps of dirt left by the discs, smooth out the roots and stalks that are still left on the surface, and prepare a nice firm seed bed for the air drills that will sow the winter wheat seed into the ground. After all the tillage has been completed and all the corn stalks have been worked in, the farm utilizes three Horse Panther 60 60 foot wide air drills to seed their winter wheat crop over 11,000 acres. These big machines move fast and get the seed in the ground before the fall rains and cold weather set in. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all of the big tractors and discs utilized in this Western Kentucky Farms tillage operation in the fall, preparing the corn ground to seed the next year's winter wheat crop. This is a family farm. It's a very large farm, but there are three generations of family members involved in the operation of all of this equipment and acres every day. They're great people. They've got a very nice operation, and I really appreciate being able to spend time 
out in the field and up in the cab of the tractors visiting with them to share the story of what this equipment is able to accomplish. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.